All right, uh, looks like we're on to the last step for the Arbor Press. Uh, so far, you've created uh, a lot of different part files. You've got some part files from me, and then you created the assembly and put all of this thing together uh, and, and constrained it properly and verified with me that it's right. So you're ready to do the last file type, which is an IPN file, a .IPN, which is a presentation file. No, it's not a PowerPoint or anything like that. Uh, I like to call it the exploded view. It's kind of like if you were going to put this thing together or assemble it, how can you do it? So that's what this view is designed to help us do. So I have already opened up my Arbor Press. This is the assembly file, uh, and I'm taking a look at that. And uh, if you kind of take a look, you say, hey, all right, what things, you know, if I'm going to take this cover plate off, I have to take each of these, these screws out. So uh, some different things like that. All right, so that's what we're going to get into. So let's do it. Uh, we're going to go to the Inventor I. Uh, I'm just going to go to New. And this time we're going to go down to the presentation or the standard.ipn. Create. It's blank right now. We need to create the view. And it should default to that uh, that file that you just had. Mine you know, is coming up here, but it should be your your uh, assembly file that you have here. Uh, I'm going to tell you that Auto Explode's a cool thing, but it's not going to do what you need it to do. Um, for this because there's just too many parts and it's not going to look right. Um, if you want to try it, you can try it, but you're going to end up having to fix it anyway. So we'll go ahead and hit OK, and it puts this view in here right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of get my view so it's it's in the isometric like all the other stuff has been. Um, mine looks kind of weird. Uh, if yours, when you hit the home button, goes to the right place, you're good. If not, you can always um, right-click on that home button right there, and you can go set current view right set current view as home that first one and then you just go fit to view click there so what that happens is when i uh <laughs> nice don't don't mind that so now when i click the home button it'll go ahead and fit that to the view and and put everything where it needs to go so you may or may not need to do that with yours all right next up we're going to go ahead and start disassembling this thing so we're going to go tweak components brings up uh, this dialog box so you can kind of pick what you want to pick first um, let's go ahead and um, let's just start with these screws right here so I'm gonna zoom in and you know I'm gonna click kind of like you know I always tell people hey click on the surface uh, that you would need to to like take that apart if you're gonna grab a hold of it so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this outside circle you can see how it defaults to putting in that little arrow, you can left click, you can drag the manipulator, or you can type in a number. I'm gonna just left click that, drag that out. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit with my mouse wheel. I got a lot of parts to take out, you know, I gotta pull these out, I gotta pull the cover plate off. Um, there's a gear in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out a little bit further, about negative five inches. So if I wanna be precise, I can type in negative five and then hit enter. And then that'll take it exactly to that. Go ahead and click your check mark. One part's done. Tweak component. Click your manipulator. Negative five. Enter. Check mark. Uh, you can do multiple components at once. I'm just choosing to kind of do it one at a time to give you a little idea. This one's going to be a positive number because of the direction that I'm going. Still going to keep it five. So now I have all these off. Now I can pull my, my cover plate. And again, I don't want them to overlap each other, right? So I need to, I need to kind of leave a little bit of a space in there um, so, it, so it doesn't overlap. All right, next comes out the gear. Click on the handle, pull the gear out. Again, we want space between here. I don't want you to take it too far and overlap it. I want to be able to see all my parts. Have a little bit of white space in between there. So I think you get the drift. Um, obviously, it's just basically taking all these different parts off. Just like if you had to unscrew it and take it apart, how would you do that? Um, if you do, I'm going to show you one other thing you can do here. We can go tweak components. We can go ahead and click on this uh, maybe here, this face. Drag that screw out a little ways. Now if I want to, I can drag that screw out and then I can click this other manipulator arrow. And then when I left click and drag that one, I can take and go multiple directions. So if I need to 
move multiple th multiple times and when I hit the accept button it'll actually take that all in so let's uh that's all I'm gonna do for this this part of it let's just say you had this all good to go life's good um, and when you're all got all this thing all taken apart everything's good you can go ahead and click animate and you can kind of move this thing uh, I'm gonna move it off to the side right here keep your keep everything default 25 and 1 and then just go ahead and click the play forward button and what that's gonna do is gonna simulate you putting this thing um, back together you could actually make it so everything would rotate the so after the cover plate on the screws would rotate in there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do with this so if you're bored and you want to learn more about that then uh, let me know and and I can show you how to add those rotation uh, tweaks in there and they it, it turns out pretty cool and then if you want to um, you know start back over you can play it in reverse that would do the same thing you can always hit reset at any point in time and you can also record this out as an actual Windows file, a media file, and then you can uh, either post that to YouTube or you know, um, you know, email that to somebody if you wanted to show somebody how this thing works um, as a video, which is pretty cool. So that's how we'd use it, like out in industry, uh, to help somebody learn how to put a product together or something like that. So a lot of different stuff we can do in the software. And uh, again, this is kind of like your last stage after you've done all this good work on the Arbor Press. Uh, just showing everybody that you know how to put this thing together and take it apart. So uh, good work. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.